everyone welcome to a video where I actually make an appearance and it's not video games and I know this is a weird camera angle I know I know um, and sorry about the background noise it's a fan it's hot I also don't ask me what the walls are doing right now I don't I don't know why I look like this like I've straightened up anyway book review on the playground now I'm gonna try and make this not as long uh, as a review I'm gonna there it will be spoilers there is definitely spoilers this is a review I know my tabbing sucks on this book I just started my tabbing journey and stuff uh, though the colors I'm getting are good though I'm doing good with my tabbing just the sticking out part. I feel like they're a little bit too long, so I've been going through my books and doing that. Whoa, random change. Um. <laughs> did I fix my tabs? Yes, I did. Yes, this one's longer because it's the end of the book. Um. But I'm gonna give my review on this. So I follow AB Horrors on uh, a lot of different platforms and stuff, and I am a beginner into the book of Splatterpunk. This isn't my first. My first was The Slob, which we'll talk about that in a minute. My second book into Splatterpunk, and I I love it. Honestly, it's pretty good seen splatterpunk movies uh i've seen real stuff i hate to admit it but i've seen real stuff um but it's my beginning into the books and i i did make a review on this like a small honest review on this on tiktok if you want to see that go check it out i'll say probably will say something completely different than <laughs> what i said on there but um, I finished this, I think it was like a, probably a week read, buddy read with my friend Erica. Um, and I just, let's go over the, the first of it. The first uh, thing you'll see when you open the book is this little uh, warning right here that says this book contains scenes and subject matter that are disgusting and disturbing. Easily offended people are not the in intended audience. Just let you guys know it before you decide you want to read this book. Um, and then it also says in this one of the empty pages, it says this book contains scenes of graphic violence involving children. Now, what I do want to say about this book is on chat, at page 40. Everybody talks about page 40 on here. It's not it's not that bad don't take that out of context as in if it triggers you it triggers you i am not your mama uh and if it triggers you don't read it but me personally it wasn't that bad page 40 is just about this old lady old saggy lady um and her little guy that obviously had well he's not little he's like a big grown adult man and obviously you know she's probably been doing stuff with him since he was a kid but the, the book takes place as he is a grown adult man and page 40 basically says um he's eating this old lady out I don't know if I can say that on here but I'm saying it and he uses his vomit on her. I guess she doesn't. She does not realize that at all. She doesn't realize it. And he he uses it on her. And that's what page forty says. That's it. And then it continues to go on to say about when she was a child. Um, on page forty four, of how she would watch her mother make out with these dudes and stuff while she was a kid but she did that to herself her mother didn't force her to 
I just want to make it clear. Her, her mother did not force her to do this stuff. And then also there is scat where she goes in behind her mother after she's used the restroom and uses that on her. And then she ends up killing her mother by putting her Wonka on her face as her mother is too old and frail to even move. Yeah, I'm not going to show you a close up, but that's what this page is saying. But that isn't like, uh, yeah, that's pretty bad, but it's not that bad in my opinion. It's now I read, I read this whole book hoping that it would get pretty good. It is a good book. I honestly am hoping that this becomes a, I, <laughs> it would be cool if this became a movie. Honestly, a really gore movie. Now, if you're telling me, there ain't no movies going to be made. Have you seen the Terrifier movies? Have you seen Evil Dead? Have, there's a whole bunch more movies like this, too. Like Living Dead and all kinds of different stuff. Anyway, but... I think it was pretty good. Uh, I've marked uh, a lot in this book. Um, like there is, it is mainly about after you get past that part, this old woman is trying to, she, mur she, she murders the kids, right? Well, it makes a playground to kill the kids and the last one wins gets to be her item to her an item I don't know um but Rock is our main one of our main characters in this uh I will say it was sad when CJ died and stuff but so glad uh the little guy made it the ending was sad <laughs> uh if you would like to know what the ending was uh, Rock, basically, he kills all the bad people. He kills them all, frees two last parents, and those two last parents, all their kids are dead. The only two that made it was one that Rock killed the mother and was like, oh, this kid is like me. The second one was from this abusive parents. Well, they weren't really abusive, but mentally, mentally they were to them. Um, but then he was also telling his kid to kill the other ones. Um, like I said, this was just going to be a short one. Um, I will say, I will say though, this book did not have me triggered at all. I wasn't triggered. It didn't phase me. Like, it didn't hit me. You know, it didn't hit me in the face. It didn't go. But, my, the first book I read... This one, the slob by this man, like, this book is a one of its kind. No, I have not read the second one yet. I'm going to when I get the money to buy it. <laughs> but this one, uh, chapter seven hit me different. Chapter seven got me. And I will say, yes, I did post, like, a little video on this. Like, just a small little video on this book on TikTok. And I had so many people telling me, thank you for the wording and stuff. Because I'm a parent and everything. And then I had, like, two people. I had to block one of them. And the, the other one was going on about, is, is it true? I just want to say, this book does not tell you your trigger warnings. This book has the same warning in the front that it says that there uh, are scenes of subject matter disgusting and disturbing. But it does not have like a front that says anything like that. Like this one did. Do I recommend these books? Hell yeah I do. They're really good but make sure you're going to have to go on Google to look at the trigger warnings. Uh, if you decide you want to be in, like, read these books. Also, there's a Facebook uh, group that I am called Splatter, uh, Punk Book, Splatter Punk Book Community. And if you want to join, join. I am not one of the admins. 
I am just saying that it is an awesome little community if you wanted to find more books to read or find like just really nice people all around. Um, I will do a, a review on this one later, but this is this is a 10 out of 10, honestly. Uh, I did rate it like a 4.5. Uh, just because it was really slow at the beginning and it didn't give me that uh, feeling that Chapter 7 did in this one. But honestly, still a really great read. You should read it if you want. But please look at the trigger warnings on Google before you decide to buy a book.